So can, can you please explain again, which vertebra do you address now? Um, so this is, uh, here this is the S2 alium, alium screw, this is the S1 uh, screw, L5, uh, L4, L3 are we now. Okay. Yeah. And this is the vertebra now being the most uh, rotated, this is why we left it out. Normally in L3, it's, it's f you don't, in, in the direction, if you need low doses or no low doses, normally L3 goes downwards. You don't know mm. low doses or kyphosis. Uh, there you, um, you dif the direction goes differently when you go up and down. Here at L4, the low doses begin. Now, uh, Matthias prepared the transverse process very, very nice, and now you will see very fine the um, anatomical landmarks. So this is the top part of the transverse process. This is the bottom part of it. And exactly in the middle you go in. And if you follow up now, here is the facet joint. So in here is the facet joint. You want to stay lateral in the facet joint. So this would be the entry point. If we now take a knife. If you do real surgery, do you open the muscles as far? No, this is just for the demonstration, for the demonstration. of the of the. So how, how do you orientate yourself when you when you perform surgery? Exactly, I do this. So I do this maneuver. But you, you feel it? I feel, feel it. Or? No, I feel I feel the huh? the top and bottom part of the transverse process, take the midline and go in here. Oh. And what I like doing is pushing, and when you push even in this cadaver, you see the facet joint moving. Oh, moves, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just by moving, I know, okay, this is the trajectory where I am safe okay. and uh, where I'm not going out. So now we know that this vertebra is rotated like this, meaning I need here less of uh, convergence okay. uh, going in more straight.